All right. In important news, <laughs> why why did Maul cancel Schoolboy Q's show in Toronto? Yo, why you, why you keep you throwing Netflix? me in any of this shit? <laughs> I found out about this when you found out about this. No, uh, all, yeah, all, yeah, all right. <coughs> you made that call. First of all, shout out I to see Q. The hat, I see the hat you wearing, trying to throw us off. No, nah, it's for Bronny. He got his win, you know, support Bronny. <laughs> Um, That's not why you put that out on. Yeah. Got to support Bronny, man. So, Schoolboy Q had a show in Toronto canceled. The Canadian piece uh, stopped him from performing. And I just want to know, why is Q uh, surprised? I'd be surprised. No, you would not, man. Cut it out. Westbrook might not even be allowed to play in Toronto no more. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till y'all get that memo that, that Westbrook can't get through the, the border. Bernard Rose definitely can't. Oh, no, it's over. Um, Them niggas can't cross the border. Well, Schoolboy Q went on a, I don't want to call it a Twitter rant, but was explaining what was going on, said that he could not perform because of the police, and he was confused because Party Next Door was just in LA, no one did shit to party. Top was just with Wayne and Baby, which I do want to talk about after this, because that's crazy that he told the world that. Yeah, that was wild. But listen, all the gloves are off if you're canceling my shows in Toronto. But do we think... Drake is behind us. Yeah, uh, I will say yes, because allegedly the, the venue that he was performing at, his, this is their, a screenshot of their Instagram page, Toronto's newest live entertainment venue brought to you by Live Nation Ontario in collaboration with Champagne Poppy. Okay. So, seems like Drake is involved I'm gonna look to, to the venue. Who Q is signed to as far as booking agents. Like, go, go find a different venue at least. Yeah. I don't think Drake should be canceling shows. I think it's fucked up, but I get it. They're in a beef. He's connected to Kendrick. He was in the video. Cool. But why would anyone, UTA, CAA, whoever the fuck, go, yeah, we should book Q at the Champagne Poppy venue in Toronto. Beautiful venue. <laughs> the acoustics are amazing. Why would you do that? Yeah, they didn't think that one. They weren't. Th I don't even think. They might not have known, though. That's a problem. Yeah. You should know exactly where you're sending your artists, who yeah. owns the venue. If you're routing Who's something. making money from the show. You should absolutely know that as... As a schoolboy Q uh, management or agent, you should definitely. Know yeah, that. I mean, but don't you think it'd be a better move by Drake to let the show happen and then, because Drake posts everything on IG story, even the sewage in his closet, mm -hmm. to post the return he got on Q show. Oh, that would have ate. Like to me, that would be way more fly than canceling a show. Like I doubt. Like Drake remember when Fifty Cent was promoting Doctor's Advocate after the game mm -hmm. fallout because he still had a percentage. Mm -hmm. He was walking around wearing Doctor's Advocate. Out now shirts like mm -hmm. go buy games album because I make money off of it. To me, that would be cooler than just canceling his show. But I'm sure that Drake that wasn't. I doubt Drake. I I think Drake heard about this the same way all of us heard about it. Drake has a humongous team. He's such a big artist. Like he's not managing that fucking venue. And the people that are managing have managers that have managers that answer mm. to Drake. So he they probably just knew like oh somebody from CDE fuck no like I'm we're not doing this let's end that. They probably didn't even consult Drake about it. Well the the rumor was that the cops thought something else was going to happen. If you guys remember when Pusha T performed in Toronto, yeah. Left somebody in critical. That, that was, was that was that was uh, yes, I get it. I understand that that did happen. That's a real thing. So that is a concern for the police and you know the city. They want to make sure if they're having events and stuff that everybody is safe. But this is just a little different from that because Q is not directly beefing or going back and forth with Drake or. But he's affiliated because you know it's Kendrick's uh, homeboy and their TDE. You know that's family. But it's it's a little different than the push. The push thing was a direct person that was going, you know, in a, in a, in a yeah. beef with with Drake. This is by way of affiliation to uh, type of situation. I do think that uh, Drake knew about the show. I'm not sure if Drake called for it to be canceled though. I think it, the the police probably you know thought about it and was like, nah, you know how fans are. Um, you know, somebody might just try something just for, for clout and we don't want that on us. So I do think both things are true. Drake knew about the show. He knew about the book and he knew Q was going to be in Toronto for a show. I'm not sure if I can comfortably say, nah, Drake had it shut down. Because mm -hmm. I, I do know how the police sometimes will step in no matter who owns the venue or whatever. It's like, nah, we're not, we not doing that. Are the, are the police shutting down a Kendrick Lamar show in Toronto? Kendrick is not booking a show in Toronto. Hi hypothetically. Absolutely. I don't, I don't think so. You, Q's show just got shut down. I don't. I cannot see the cops shutting down a Kendrick Lamar show at an arena in Toronto. You're, I just can't see yo, it. Yo, what's wrong? 
how first you don't think not like us is on his album, and now you think that <laughs> if he books a show in Toronto, the police won't shut it down. When he puts out Mato tour, you don't think he's gonna stop in Toronto? No, he's not stopping in Toronto. You are crazy if you think Kendrick Lamar is not stopping in Toronto at his next tour. And you're crazy if Drake's not stopping in LA at his next tour. You th wait, you I th don't think that's that's Drake performed in Philly at the height of the meek shit. That's it's a completely different, it's different, different. It's a different, it's a difference. What dream chasers are way scarier. What are you talking about? You think that do, wait, all right. So let me just be clear before I respond. You think that first of all, do you think that Kendrick Lamar is booking a show in Toronto? Like he's even thinking about booking a show in Toronto. I think he's probably focused on the album and tour will come after that. And when he focuses on it, I think he will 100% do a Toronto show. Toronto is a huge market. Yes. I just don't know if it's... That's like skipping Atlanta. <laughs> you don't... It's like skipping Chicago. Nah, it's different. You don't skip This is Toronto. different, though. It's this is different, different though. I, I don't, I don't think different. either of them will do the... I think Drake will book a LA show. Of course I don't he think will. That, I don't think that Kendrick is booking it. And that's not me saying that Kendrick or his team is afraid of Drake or anything like that. I just don't think okay. that he's doing why, it. Why I also think there's a difference between Schoolboy Q and Kendrick. I would say, what's the size of the venue that... Q was doing. We'll look it up right now. Q is a, a bit more accessible than Kendrick Lamar doing an arena show in Toronto where regardless of this Drake thing or not would have police escort from hotel to venue. It's not really a liability. You think someone's going to get on the stage at the, the arena show for Kendrick Lamar? So, uh, all like, right. It's a, it's a little, I can see the Q one because it's a, more of an intimate spot. People can hop on stage. Probably a similar size of what Pusha T did. Q doesn't have police escort. He's more accessible. So we I can just, see there being a higher risk for Q. And that's no disrespect <laughs> to Q, but just he's more in the open. Yeah, he moves differently. Less uh, insulated than Kendrick Lamar. Uh, the venue is 2,500. Yeah. Nice size venue. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. 20, awesome. But that's not going to be the same protection that Kendrick would have with or without this beef in Toronto. He's getting in a, a police escort all the way to that arena. We may have just bumped into a really good debate okay because i can 100 percent see drake booking a show at crypto of course selling it out for sure people enjoying it mm -hmm. i don't know if kendrick is booking a show at the scotia bank arena and people not showing up to just boo him <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't think Drake gets booed in L.A. at the crypto at his show. I, I can 100% see Kendrick getting booed all night at a Scotiabank Arena show. It's no secret that Toronto loves Drake. I would never debate that. And I think there's a large group of people that would buy tickets to go boo Kendrick Lamar. See, I the agree with you is, there. But you also have to think that Kendrick Lamar, for the last decade, has built a pretty substantial Toronto market. No, and I'm Canada not, market as missing, is that are just Kendrick Lamar fans you and it, want to go see him I, perform. You, you missing what I'm saying. I, okay, so let me explain like this. I think that... Drake will do a show in LA while people in LA may not, they'll, they'll boo him, but I think it'll be a lot of people there that will definitely support Drake. I don't think I could say the same as far as Kendrick going to Toronto. I think everybody that goes to a Kendrick show in Toronto is going there strictly to try to ruin his show. What? And boo him. I, th I think so. I think there would be people that would do that, but not at the- Drake is the biggest export out of Canada, probably. The, Tim Hortons would like a word. Well- Second, <laughs> maybe no, maybe third. Maple Leafs is probably, <laughs> yeah. but after that, Kendrick is <laughs> Wayne, not the Wayne third. Gretzky, Kendrick is Jim Carrey. Kendrick is not the Bieber. third biggest export out of LA. Beeves, bro. <laughs> like you, <laughs> Kendrick, Seth is, Rogen. Kendrick is not the third biggest export out of LA. He's not. Yeah, cocaine is. <laughs> I'm just saying he's not. So I just I think this this is where this is interesting because I do think if Drake. Announce a show in crypto right now, it sells out. I think you're just underestimating the amount of just regular rap fans that would want to go see a Kendrick Lamar show. Because at this point, now we're arguing who would buy the tickets quicker. Because it's selling out regardless. Of course. Uh, but which group is going to sell it out is really the debate, I guess, at this point. Because there's a large group of people. Hey, fuck it. Let, let, let's see it. Both of you niggas book a show. <laughs> Kendrick, book a show in Toronto. Drake, book a show at the crypto. And let's goddamn see what happens. Fuck it. Give it no. to us. Let's see. I it. don't even like the way you're wording it. Why? Now, wanna, you're, now you're baiting people. See, I told you you had the knife. No, now I want to. I want to see you it. Snitching. Are you good? Bro? I want to. No, I really want to see. I really want to see if I'm. I'm willing to. I just want to see what happens. Like, prove me wrong. But I just think that a show in Toronto right now for Kendrick is different from a show in L.A. for Drake. I think it's different.
I think the response. Yeah, is oh no, I think it's. I, I don't disagree with you there that it is different, but I just think you're underestimating how many Kendrick fans are in the no, I'm, greater bro, Toronto I'm area. Not, and Kendrick is one of the biggest rappers that we've ever seen, ever had. I get that. But I just think that this is very different when you talk about having to go to Toronto versus having to go to LA. Mm. Especially when you talk about the, the star power of Drake versus the star power of Kendrick. I get it. I just I just think Toronto, I just think Canada just holds it differently than LA holds Kendrick right now. 